Hey folks, welcome to Software Testing Hacks. Today, in this video, I will be talking about how to create resumes. This is applicable for both measures as well as for experience. For now, I'll be using Canva for it. We have multiple online resume building tools as well. I'll just give you an overview of how it is. So let's get started. First, we will understand how we will we can build using this Canva. In Canva, if you click on create a design, you have uh, just type resume. So here we'll have a lot of different types of resumes. Okay. So rather than that, uh, we will go for some default. Okay. So after selecting that, here we will get lots of templates. Some of them will be paid. Okay, so you can choose whichever is for free also. If you see here, there are multiple resumes which are for free. So if I just select this, so this is how this format looks like. Okay, so it has like contact, education, about me, competencies, language, preference, so references, and then work experience. All this is there, right? And, um, Let's also see some of the other formats. So you can choose whichever is best suitable for you. Okay. Okay. So now uh, let's take one format. Let's consider this. Okay. And you can put the photo of yours. Or if you don't want, you can just click on this delete. Or it will get deleted. Also, this also it, it works, but it is good if you have if you put the photo, okay, and you can put your name and then your role. Suppose say you are a QA engineer, okay, you can put that, and then in place of this, what you can put is so I'll just give you a sample of. Uh, what you can put okay and here i have put that competent diligent quality analyst with how many years of experience you have six years or five years if you have three years two years you can put whatever you have experience in whatever testing skills that you have automation manual database api cloud whatever you have skills in you just give a brief this is just a description of what your profile looks like Okay, and um, and well was using different automation framework like whatever automation frameworks that you have worked, you can put that. And I'm seeking for a position to utilize my skills and abilities in an industry that offers professional growth while being resourceful. So this is what you can just give a brief introduction of yourself. Okay, and after that, coming to the experience. For experience, this is applicable. But when it comes to uh, the person who is not experienced, he can put his project-related activities which he has done in his last time. Okay, whatever project that you have worked for, all that you can put here. All this, like contact number you can put and then email address, address, education details which university you studied what all these details i think you can fill by yourself because these default uh, uh, you know formats will help you in building the resume very quickly so you don't have to uh, think of what you have to put next put next so it is better you can just go ahead and uh, edit all these fields okay and expertise so suppose you are good at manual testing so you can put you are basically otherwise rather than that you can go and edit that to skill set if you if you don't want to choose that particular thing uh, you know you can just go and say what are your uh, skill sets so you can say that manual testing okay and then what all the tools and techniques that you have used okay here automation testing and what all the frameworks, automation testing, and what all the frameworks you have used, suppose say in case of this, Selenium, and then uh, Java, 
so you can put as many as you want what are the skill set that you possess you can put it under one particular skill set so it will be easy for anyone who uh, sees your resume to get what are your main skill sets through this column so rather than having this brief description they cannot read each and everything right so it is provides a good visualization so for that uh, reason we can put it under one thing and next is language you can put it so you, based on the uh, this thing whatever uh, resume format that you select you will be filling it out but if something if you feel like you are missing something or you want to put some additional fields you can absolutely do it so in case of experience if you are a fresher like education details or education you can put right so that's how you can just go and edit whatever you want okay and you can put whatever the education or whatever the projects that you have done that's it so it will be easy for uh, the one who is just a fresher and company you can put your company name and then uh, wherever it is located at or okay and or how many years you worked here here you can it, it will give you an idea of uh, how many years you worked here but here it just says 2019 to 2022 in that case actually it is better to specify from which month you started working suppose you started working in the month of may then you can just put 05 2019 to 05 2020 or suppose you are presently working there you can put it as present to present 2019 to present so that's how so that it will uh, give them a correct thing that how how many years you have worked there okay and what is your job position here so instead of that you can also say roles and responsibilities so it is always a good idea or good Uh, so people will just go through your resume and they will see what things you have worked on and what are the responsibilities that you have taken as part of that project okay in roles and responsibilities say you are an automation tester who is um, who just starts analyzing the requirement so you can put a point saying that analyzing requirement okay and then suppose say you are also building the manual test cases okay first case writing and test case execution work on cloud technologies like aws and uh use automation uh, or else you can say experience in database testing worked on creating automation test so like this you can uh, put whatever the roles you have played and whatever the responsibilities that you have taken so each of for each of the company suppose you have worked in three companies so from when did you start this uh, you know at the very top it should be the latest company that you are working with okay it should be in that order you have to put it first uh, the current company whatever you are working for and the roles and responsibility in the current organization and uh, next you have to put the organization that you work previous than this company and roles and responsibility you took in, in you know at that position okay so all that uh, you can fill it over here okay and reference if you have some surname name so all this you can change also if you want suppose if you want to uh, build another page you can just go and then select and then you know you you can add some 
additional points if you have like four to five companies you have worked so then you can put it in the next page also but it is always good to have only maximum of two to three pages in the resume if it exceeds uh will be like a lot of things to read people won't be uh, eager to read each of the things so for that reason it will be a good thing if you put it to one section okay so these type of default formats will help you to build your resume quickly as i said for uh, pressures what you can do is you can fill uh, suppose if you have went through any course or if you have went through any certification you can mention all that okay and then uh, whatever projects that you have worked in that particular training if you are given with any something uh, responsibilities that you know like how to create the test case how to execute the test case and how to prepare the test plan all that you will be learned and also how to automate on some of the uh, applications that you will be doing it so you can mention all that in this section okay also i also was uh, mentioning about some of the tools which will help you to build the resumes let's talk about some of them so in this case let's search websites for free okay there are a lot of them you can go and try in that i will suggest you one another resume building uh, website which is called novo resume so this is also will also provide you a default format using which you can build your resume okay if you click on build a resume it will take you to uh, you know formats which where you can select the format and then you can click and then uh, you know fill in all the details and you can download it for free okay so this is one thing that i wanted to talk hope uh, this video has given you a lot more clarity on how to build resumes if you have any doubts or question you can post it in the comment section hope you all have liked this video please do like it share it don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye